The second part of the research that we're doing is related to the imaging. And since we can, you know, point it down the ear canal of a mouse and look through the eardrum and look through the uh, promontory bone into the cochlea and, and then do all of these fancy detailed measurements of basilar membrane vibration, well, we've now been trying, well, can we do this in our patients? Can we do this in humans in the clinic? And it's actually starting to work. And we've built a device to do this. It's, uh, you know, we've kind of called it the cochleoscope. That might be a little bit of a premature statement because we're seeing just a hint into the cochlea at this point. We get a great view of the eardrum, the ossicular chain, any scar, cholesteatoma, those things, tumors. But we can see through the promontory bone into the cochlea a little bit. And we're working on improving our hardware and software to get really nice, clear images like we do in mice. The problem is, of course, the bone in a human is a little thicker than the bone in a mouse. <laughs> and so it, the image is a little more blurry. But, but if we could do that, it, I think it would change the paradigm of how we manage, you know, diagnose and manage patients with sensory neural hearing loss, which would be a game changer.